like its own citizens in Chechnya. Hundreds of Chechen civilians have been maimed or killed by the Russian bombardment in the past week. Tonight, President Yeltsin ordered a halt to the bombing, but he's done that before and the bombing continued. Our Moscow correspondent Julian Mannion reports from Chechnya. In the early hours of this morning, death came to the village of Meskar Yurt, south of Grozny. Russian aircraft dropped a string of bombs into the center of the village, smashing houses and destroying lives. At least 10 people died in the nighttime carnage, which once again had no evident strategic purpose, except the spreading of terror. The people here do not understand why the heart of their quiet village has suddenly been ripped out by massive Russian bombs. Nor do they understand why Western governments, including the British government, which have in the past said so much about human rights in Russia, are now keeping silent. In hospital, some of the victims of the latest horrific weapon to be used against Chechen civilians. These are the survivors of yesterday's bomb attack on a crossroads near the village of Shali, an attack which killed at least 28 people. ITN has established that the Russians used cluster bombs, bombs that contain scores of separate explosive charges, each encased in a sheath of ball bearings. The bombs set off a blizzard of flying metal. They are weapons designed to kill or maim combat troops. Now Boris Yeltsin's government is using them against civilians that it says are citizens of the Russian Federation. Boris Yeltsin has now apparently ordered a halt to the bombing of Grozny to prevent further civilian casualties. But since his similar promise last week resulted only in a blitz on the capital, few people here have much confidence in his words today. Julian Mannion, News at 10 on the outskirts of Grozny.